That's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Sixteenth February 2024, I arrived at the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Before I tell this story, let me take you back to a few weeks prior. How to know that the Nigerian is about to jump back? Check their head, all these little bits. <laughs> So, don't disturb me. I'm signing out. I don't leave all my for who get down. So this was us on our way to Abuja and um, we, we travel with God is good. Like I said earlier, our flight prices were outrageous so we had to go by road even though it was a big risk. You know? So that was me carrying my neighbor's child. The boy just saw me and liked me and I carried him most of the journey. I don't know why boys, baby boys usually like me. Like, it looks like I'm going to be a mama of boys. So one thing about traveling by road from Abia State, which is where I stay, like my mom stays where i grew up literally to abuja is like you pass through different states the land mass is a lot you pass through enugu you pass through most states that's kind of okay uh, in emo state pass through enugu pass through benue kogi before you get to abuja so this is how the trip was going and here i was like you know vlogging and trying to listen to good music and also making video with my baby bye <laughs> So it was really, really an amazing experience. We finally got to Abuja. I wasn't able to film more because I was very busy. I was creating a video, like, you know, using one store to kill two birds. So I wasn't able to create much. We stayed in one of our family's friends. How do they say that thing? Family friends place. Instead of staying in a hotel because we we're much. And we weren't sure of how long we we're going to stay. So we decided to save that cost and stay with a family friend. And it was like the best decision because we ended up staying longer than we thought in Abuja. Because that's where the processing happens. For you to travel to Saudi Arabia, you can only process it in Abuja and Kano. So that is why we had to go to Abuja. <laughs> Manga job mamunga mila and then wait you to go go shape up on a lily. Sometime ago I saw a tweet where someone said living in Nigeria is not easy. Living in Nigeria is not easy. And I totally agree with him because tell me how despite the fact that we had a scheduled appointment, we stayed in Abuja for a whole week before we were able to get to attend the appointments because they kept on postponing and postponing and postponing so finally here this is where we went for the first stage we had some forms to fill and some other things to do before we proceeded with the biometrics and other things that were needed so, we are here now looking for uh biometrics very soon we're going to the embassy Say hi. I'm going to buy water. That's not you know the fans. I think it's I think it's this way. No, you go out go outside. Okay, okay. We are going now. So that when she put me she will see give it the thumbs up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be back to back to back content and you are going to be very interesting. Period. Period. Yeah. Period. Close your Period. Or... How, <laughs> how videos are very, 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 very interesting. Okay, so okay. hit the subscribe button. Our YouTube channel is um right with K Johnson. So go to her YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, and watch her videos. Trust me, you thank me later. Bye for now. So here yeah, we're waiting for our our biometrics you know did the whole tone printing retinal scan and everything so at this point we're done so i was telling them everybody say hi as for the 
content creator that i am okay so we couldn't finish everything on this particular day because it was a lot and um the next day i had to come back to this place because i needed to get like some documents from court and um yeah one other ministry like that and well if i had known i wouldn't have even embarked on this journey i would have just paid someone to do it for me but i felt like i was saying it was way more expensive for five percent so i decided to do it myself i think i would say i would just public transportation system needs um some modification because how do they pack people adults in those small taxis like four people have to sit at the back that's crappy i think lagos is better in this aspect so this is me aborting the taxi to go to the court to be able to do those things right and yeah Where I was coming from wasn't close to the court, hence the public transport. But when I was dropped at a closer junction, I ordered a ride because I wasn't sure of the exact location of the court I was going to. So this is me. I don't know. I can't remember if it was Uber or Boats, but it was one. I ordered it and entered the ride. So this is me in the ride, headed to the court. So as soon as I arrived the court premises, I went straight to the office that would render the service I came for and guess what? Typical of Nigerian public offices, it was crowded and that was not even the only issue. Before it could get to my turn, there was no network. I had to wait for network for like two hours before network came back. It was crazy man. It was crazy. So here yeah, I was done with what I, I came to do. I was even lucky to finish the whole five. Some persons I came in on had to go back with yes and I was tired. This is past four. I just finished now. If you ever go to a Nigerian office and they say, but you can pay somebody to do it for you, better pay. <laughs> better pay. That thing that's making you feel like you're saving money wants to stress the life out of you. Because <laughs> If they, unless you have connection or, or like you're a referential person that can just get into any office and they'll be like, Marco, sir, Marco, ma. But if they ever tell you, eh, the amount is 154, but you can pay somebody 3000 to do it. So after this point, I went back to the office to submit the documents I got and the rest. And I headed back home. It had been a long day and I was so freaking tired. Just like I said, if they tell you to pay, pay. So after three long, unexpected weeks in Abuja, our visas came out. I recorded where we were rejoicing, but I'm not sure I can share it because it, it looks a bit intimate. It seems a bit intimate, yeah. So this is us on our way to the airport from where we're staying. So we headed to the airport, Namdazikiwe Airport, to take a flight to Lagos because our flight was from Lagos and not Abuja.